What's up YouTube, this is Technomaster500 and uh, welcome to my unboxing of the Cyborg Rat 7 and uh, yes, before you go any further um, I do know this is quite old mouse but I'm actually putting out a series of videos um, which is basically just going to be titled um, Seeking the Best Gaming Mouse really so hence the reason why I'm bringing the Rat 7 as you can see on the box there it's just received numerous and numerous uh, of awards and uh, it is a very very good mouse so obvious time obviously still some uh, a lot more but uh, yeah I'm going to bring you, I've actually got some uh, mouses uh, in the office you can just see there, just you can see a few along there which I'm going to do unboxings on but Today's star is the Rat 7, so uh, let me just show you around on the box. I'll lift that for you. Probably ideally will be to pause this if the camera gets to focus, but there you go. Flick around again. If you want to pause the video, probably best. Um, one of the things right with this mouse got the, the awards is just uh, I think it was the design, the way they come out and uh, it was just crazy really we haven't seen till Cyborg released this, we haven't seen a sort of a kind of a mouse and um, I was really skeptical into using it and so going this is just a hype how is it um, and I must say for, I've been using this mouse now for around a week, week and a couple of days say and I'm really really impressed it's very very well built it's really um, I'm gonna say it um, heavy but in a way it just feels solid really 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 because I thought it was just gonna be uh, just just plastic but and again one thing that cyborg I just realized they good at doing is the packaging they're just as, as crazy as them line of mouses are so there you go, so as you can just see it there. So what I'm going to do now is actually pause the camera and uh, take the contents out so you can see what's inside of it. Right, so um, there you go. It's all the contents actually out. And um, you'll be happy to see that Cyborg is using soft foam, so if you got this as a parcel delivered to your door, can really just be a bit happy that uh, there's not going to be a problem and should be safe should arrive safe to your door anyway so um, obviously including with the mouse so you got there so you got a braided nice braided cable so um, it's really durable and uh, it's not like to be cut or whatever you know get caught so it looks very durable and a very good braided and if the camera can just pick it up and uh, yeah, also there's this lovely box comes inside with more parts for it, which you can replace just like these wings here. They can be replaced. Also, this part can be the actual mouse can be adjusted as make it longer. Same with this side. They also can be replaced. Really, really happy with this mouse with the packaging. Um, I believe at this moment, uh, I'm not quite sure if you can get them brand new yet, but probably on eBay or other sites like that, you can get it for around 60 to 70 pounds still on good knit. Um, so, probably hammered ones without a box and all the contents, probably you get about 40 to 50 pounds UK. And uh, But yeah, going to this, it just feels. Uh, really really good I was really impressed I wasn't sure that I was gonna like it like I say it feels a bit heavy um, really durable even the plastic solid clicks and um, quite a few few things here obviously just around here you got the DPI adjuster scroll wheel as well also you got side scroll on this side here you got a dedicated sniping button so if you play like FPS's like I do like um, Counter-Strike um, Global Offensive um, if you're using a AWP or a sniper rifle 
um, obviously you got your zoom in and this just obviously brings you to a slower DPI so you can just click it on um, basically I think that's what um, Corsair M60 and M65 um, gaming mouse has actually got this idea from but don't quote me on that come on Corsair I love you <laughs> but, um, yeah so really really happy with it and um, I gotta say to because obviously I've got more mouses to to review. I actually gonna use um, a score system, obviously the one out of ten. And to me, with this week and a half I've been using this one, I would give it a solid seven. And um, obviously, the the reason is not higher is the the weight. I would say not that it's wrong. It really feels a lot solid, but because. Maybe it's just, I'm used to use the Logitech G9, which is my preference mouse of all time. Um, it just doesn't feel right. While that, you got a weight system. You don't. If I just show you there, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. Just there. Uh, if you zoom in, zoom in. Just the metal thing. Really, really good. And, uh, pretty solid. So uh, yeah, a seven out of a ten. Um, yeah, again, the only thing I can say is just the the weight of the mouse. I don't want to sound like a broken record. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug the mouse in, and I'm going to show you the software that you can actually download from uh, Mad Cat's um, website, and also um, they actually got some gaming profiles that you can actually actually download, which helps you um, set up the mouse without you actually going to all the settings you're through it's already been set up for Madcast, you just download the profile load it in and you're done and you got like profiles like um, RTS, FPS, um, even software, your desktop um, it's unbelievable the amount of um, profiles they have even for Photoshop it's, it's, it's unbelievable so I'm just going to stop the camera um, real quick again and I'm going to show you the software So there's the software here, as you can see it. You can obviously download this from uh, madcats.com. Uh, just going to flick through so you can see what it looks like. So that's product, obviously settings, programming, and support. Um, the one you're actually looking for is it this, so you can actually adjust your DPI here, and also the dedicated sniper button that I'll show you. So you can actually show how it is. You got the um, DPI buttons on the mouse, which obviously when you click it, it will adjust this where you want it. Um, programming, so that's when you actually the profiles I was talking about earlier are actually gonna come in place. So here it is. You got the entitled one loaded up, so you just went new one or open, shall I say? Uh, in my case, I've got the profile saved here, and there's um I've actually profiles I've got is action, CS5, uh, in Photoshop, FPS, MMO, RPG, software, strategy and strike. Um, so hey, on action, just inside you go for specific games, that's how good they get. So say Assassin's Creed, there you go, load it there, save, done. So you can either go and test it or just activate the profile there. And uh, there you go. And that's basically loaded up, as you can see on that thing there. It's turned green, so you know that it's on. Obviously, for the game, shows your target lock, sensor camera, the map. So let's try Batman Hey. There you go. Actually, specific tells you what button on your mouse is going to do for what. Uh, same there. Dead Rising, say Dead Space, there, and so on, so on. So uh, there you go. Support. Basically, you can go for download drivers. It just links for their website. You got the um, languages here for the actual software. Uh, now RSS feed. You need to basically to the page and all that. So uh, there you go. Basically, there's the software for it. So. Um, 
then again I um, hope you enjoyed this video um, if you do please like share subscribe it really helps me a lot to grow the channel and to bring more um, reviews and uh, content to you guys um, and again I've got a few more mouses to test um, to name a few the Razer Ouroboros yeah that's right um, that's going to be one of the mouses I actually got to test so um, yeah so peace and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one See you guys.